Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature for C Electrical V8R4 Service Pack 2, and this is polygon function location boxes. So instead of just a rectangle, we can now draw a different shape. So I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to open up Example 1. So this is uh, an example project provided by IGXO when you first install it. Now at the moment, functional location is not turned on. So if I look at a component on here, I can see that this has a, uh, only a product. So I'm just going to right click a project level, go into the properties, and there's a new tab down for functional location. It's been separated out of general. I'm going to enable functional location, and I'm going to say put it as been a dashed line to indicate that. I can click on frame setup and check the font. I'm going to put it as being inside. Click on OK and OK. So now every component has the possibility of a functional location. I'm just going to extend the page information. And for each page, I'm just going to put this as being P1 to indicate this is panel one. I'm going to click on the second one and do the same thing. The function I'm going to set to P1. So on the first page, if we take this example down here, this motor might not actually be in the panel. Under electrical, the previous command was to draw a rectangle around this. So I can draw a rectangle around this device, and I can say that this is perhaps P1, and it's a field device. I'm going to rename the components inside of there, and I'm just going to use F6 just to pick that text and move it down to this bottom corner here. On page two, very similar situation. You draw a box around the motor. Let me just do that one again. Rectangle, draw it a bit bigger. It supports a drag function as well. So p one dot field. Now in this situation up here on page two, I've got two push buttons which might be in a different area, it might be on the door, whereas everything else could be on the mounting plate. So to highlight this, I could draw a box around each one, or I could now use the polygon command, click on polygon and start drawing the axes of the polygon. So I'm going to draw across the top, down and back, and I'm going to loop around this component so I don't include that in my box. So I have one area which I'm using to define this. I'm going to put this as P1 point door. So any of the components inside of there, I can see are in this P1 dot door. And if I look at this component here, I can see it's P1K2. Um, I'm just going to highlight it and make it a bit clearer. Under Draw, I'm going to go to Fill using a polygon box. Just drop those in there and just zoom back out. So it's a bit clearer to see what's going on there. In the graphical list, because I've got functional location turned on now, I can just right click and say I want to generate a bill of materials per function location. When I go into the uh, bill of materials function location, I can see each of the areas is output with the bill of materials with quantified output for each area that I specified in the project. 